people always have to remember is that even a, with a super fast cartridge, the, uh, the distance out at 35 yards is literally going to be that much gain on the actual car on the actual target so whether it's five or six inches that's all you're going to gain out at that range so you're but much better off to get into your swing in your technique and listen to your instructors and follow their their advice and uh, and then build up your build up your strength your competence and your and your skills on your gun What I always advise people is, you know, start with stuff that you know you can handle. So start with a 21 gram, start with a 24 gram, and get yourself and your technique moving with that load. So the lighter loads help you with your technique and don't put you off. And once you build up your confidence and you build up your swing and you get onto the targets, then start stepping up to your 28 gram loads and then work your way through up the ranges to the, with the speed. So from bottom to top, you'll then find up, up here, obviously, over 1,400 feet per second, there is going to be some more recoil. However, when you do that, always bear in mind that speed doesn't always equal performance. We try and develop all of our cartridges so that pattern delivers performance for people. So always look at how your gun patterns. So try different cartridges through your gun on a pattern plate and see how your gun responds to those different cartridges and different speeds. And then when you when you see a good tight uniform pattern at 30 45 yards and you know you've got your got it right for you then you can build on your on what you've already learned which is your swing and your technique so i would always start from the bottom end work your way up until you until you're absolutely confident and competent and don't push yourself too hard with a faster range until you're until you're really confident there's only a, a little a little bit that you're going to gain at any one time. But remember, your, your spread at 35, 40 yards is always going to be 30 to 40 inches. So, as lo And we work on pattern. So as long as you're within that range of 30, 40 inches spread, you're going to get that target. So what you've got to remember is that pattern equals performance, not always speed. So we started with the first select and basically built downgraded some of the recoil on it so that everybody could handle that at a club level, whether it be for coaching or whether it be for uh, recreational shooting. The Olympic Blues is a faster load um, and we've got Lara Dale and we've also got uh, Victoria Humphreys using it very successfully in competitions. The Superb is a, a faster load and the TTL Gold is actually a slower load with a lot less uh, recoil. What I'm seeing people do is actually mix and match they, both those loads for trap, lo trap shooting, and the Fiber Superb is really going well in the, in the uh, sporting market, as, as we've seen a lot of people um, really liking the different color coding. So we color code all of the printing on each one so that you know whether it's a red, a green, a black, or a blue, what shot size you're shooting with, just as you're about to take those shots on, whether it's a close by rabbit target, a further rising teal, or a long, long, long crosser right out in the far, far open. So all of those little differences make it easier for the shooter to use our products. And then we've had great success with uh, the VIP trap uh, with Nick Hendrick winning the uh, British Grand Prix Fitask Open. He did really, really well on that uh, with, with that load. Uh, shoots a seven and a half all day long without uh, any, any compunction. Um, certainly a, a really strong uh, competition load. We've um, re redesigned our website lately. So if you go to elihawkltd.com, you can then go through all of the the recommendations and the specifications of all of our cartridges online um, and there's videos for for the products that we've we've managed to get videos for and uh, we're going to be doing more of those throughout the year